So yeah, this game just received one of the worst patches in gaming history. Let me tell you what. I have turned into a lightning ball. But, dear God, I don't know what Blizzard was thinking with this patch. I think they were trying to enrage everyone, maybe. I, I guess that was the end goal. Let me know how you have received the patch. I'm sure that you're probably not happy about it. But anyway, it's all good. Because Season 1 is around the corner, and at least we have the Malignant Hearts that we could mess around with, right? So I'm sure that's the idea behind this recent patch that went out for Diablo 4. Nerf everything, and then bring interest to, of course, Season 1 and that new mechanic, Malignant Hearts. Which, of course, will be offering the power that we are missing and so desiring. We're going to have to create new characters anyway, but I'm certain some people wanted to continue their Eternal Realm characters, and now they're just like, ah, what do I do? Because right now, my Barbarian, he went from being very tanky, very capable of surviving, to feeling like a halfway glass cannon of sorts. It's just weird. So I got to figure out what to do with him. But guess what? I'm not going to. I'm just going to have to create a Season 1 character and see what I can do there, of course. It's time to move on, my Barbarian friend. I'm sorry. But I'm just too tired of the nerves. The insanity. Sanctuary. Now, some people are saying that they're just going to outright quit. I mean, there are other games. I feel like Blizzard kind of forgets that. That, hey, there's Boulder's Gate coming up, and what's this? Starfield. So, I don't know why they would infuriate so much of their fan base right when the competition is getting stiffer. To me, it doesn't make much sense. I wish my Barbarian was more powerful. I am... Wanting to mess around with Season 1 mechanics, don't get me wrong. I am going to be goofing off with it. Seeing how that goes. Wish me luck. Some of the Malignant Hearts, I will admit, do sound intriguing. They did showcase all 32 of those Malignant Hearts. However, they can be only socketed into jewelry. And many of you are concerned like, hey, we use jewelry for specific reasons. They give specific boosts. Now I have to worry about missing out on those boosts. What's the point of these malignant hearts? It sounds like they're almost getting in the way of my plans. Yeah, so there's already controversy around the new seasonal mechanic coming up here. By the way, that's tomorrow. Wow. July 20th is going to be the start of, yes, Season 1 for... Diablo 4. Now, this is the first season, by the way. And they have said to expect this to be one of the smaller seasons they release ever because this season was developed simultaneously with the rest of the actual game. Now that the game is out, they can really focus up on giving us bigger seasons after season one. So season two... That development is underway. They don't have to worry about developing an entire game alongside Season 2. So I'm thinking Season 2 should be better than Season 1. I'm hoping. So I'm hoping the game gets better and better as time goes. Now they did also nerf Vulnerable. Which I know... <clears throat> excuse me. A little under the weather. But which I know every single class uses. I know I'm heavily reliant on Vulnerable. You have no idea. My Paragon board is situated around Vulnerable. So they took away 40% of my power. And let me tell you what. That was the most depressing thing about this recent patch. I should just call it a nerf. The, the, the patch itself is just a nerf. One big giant nerf to the entire game. It really sucks. It's interesting because there were some... Uh, Pretty prominent personalities within the uh, gaming space overall. Saying, hey, you know what? The game's too easy. I don't like vulnerable. And here we are. It's kind of funny. Here we are. Hatches out. And guess what? The game is not as easy now. 
They have <laughs> reduced the need for using vulnerable. So wait a second, are they actually listening to you guys or what's going on here? <laughs> Or are they listening to, like, the prominent player base? When I say prominent, I mean those that play, like, 16 hours a day. Not to discredit people that play, like, two hours a day, because you should be able to do that and still enjoy it. Oh, God, I'm dying. I was just going to say, I am surviving. I'm actually surviving, but no. I'm going through my potions. Oh, God, I'm going to die. I love you all. No. Now, I've also noticed some oddities after the recent patch. The movement of my Barbarian is just not as smooth whatsoever. Especially rotating from one ability into my Whirlwind. It is. It doesn't feel good half the time. I don't know what is happening. Let me know if any other Barbarians out there are noticing some oddities there. But for me, it's a pain. Dang! I think they need to double down on strongholds. You know, I recently did a stronghold and I just loved it. Like, it's so good. The only disappointing part of the stronghold was the ending where the reward was just very meh. I was just like, what? What is this? This is what I get rewarded for completing this amazing stronghold. It felt very underwhelming with the rewards. And I feel like that is a current theme with this game. Even with season one. With the uniques and legendaries that they have showcased, there's nothing like super groundbreaking. This is the same problem Anthem had when it was released. You guys remember Anthem, the game by Bioware. Guys that made Mass Effect. Somehow they're hocked into creating a game that was supposed to compete against Destiny. It didn't work out. I still want to see Anthem next. I wanted to see how that would have played out. Oh, well, what about... Anyway. Yeah, so here we go. I'm going to continue exploring. In Diablo. But yeah, back to my, my thought. About gear and loot not being interesting. It's, it's definitely the biggest problem. With Diablo 4. It's that Anthem Syndrome. I call it the An Anthem Syndrome. It ultimately killed Anthem. And it's definitely killing this game currently. At least I think it's it's weird though. I see you, I see you. My treasure goblin. Kill him! Stun him. Kill him. But yeah, it's weird. Because despite the issues, this is the most active the community I've ever seen on Diablo 4. You can kind of tell by what's happening with the Diablo 4 subreddit. I believe that subreddit surpassed the launch numbers concurrently with active users, which is pretty incredible. See, he's sometimes. Time to meet your maker, Goblin. Come on, dude. No, see, I can't move him. I know that they're... God, it's so annoying when you can't move him at all. No! Gotta. What did we get? Oh, let's go! I'll have to check what we got later. Die, you rotting corpse feed! Oh, gee. Little tornado spun out there. But, you know, I've had fun with Diablo 4. Um, even with its issues, it's strange. Uh, I've been able to create a pretty fun build here. It might not be the most powerful build in the world, but it's mine. <laughs> you know what I mean? I like it. And that's what matters. There's still some stuff I need to do with it. But uh, again, like I might call it quits on the Barbarian. On this particular Barbarian. Forever. Or maybe not. I will always remember my first Barbarian in Diablo 4. But yeah, it's time to try either a Rogue or Necromancer, I believe. I think that's what I'm going to go with. I know I'm, a, I know I'm going to be avoiding the Sorcerer for sure. Because I've heard so much negativity around the Sorcerer. 
Until they fix the source, or I'm not even gonna mess with it. What's going on over here? That's actually a pretty good uh, amount of power right there, I'm not gonna lie. I am impressed with myself. Oh, God. Hello. Yeah, see, I can't move. Let me, see, let me see something. I gotta try that. Again. One, two, three. It's not. It's not because I'm running out of dodge, you know. It's just so annoying the sensation of not being able to move. Damn. So right now, one of my biggest complaints is that right there, what I just mentioned, this weird oddity that continues to happen. What's going on over here? Are you protecting a chest? I want it. Do you understand? It's mine. But yeah, apparently Blizzard is going to have a talking to us. <laughs> They're going to sit down with us in their upcoming campfire uh, live stream. Like we've done something wrong. I don't know. That's how it feels. And hopefully they can tell us what's going on. And if they're going to revert some things back. Vulnerability was hit way too hard. I thought they were going to elevate stuff. You know. Considering my whole Paragon board is built around von vulnerability. Excuse me. I mean come on now. Now what I'll probably do. This, what I will probably do is have to. Get more involved with the bleed portion of my build. I kind of dropped off of that. I used to be more heavily invested in bleed, but since vulnerability is so heavily nerfed, yeah, bleed is going to become probably more viable. So yeah, I'm going to have to be looking into some bleed here. Sure. Time to die. Ooh. Oh god, I'm dying. Let's Go! Mentioning that, I want to do a little bit of experiment. I know, it doesn't make complete sense, but we're going to see what happens with the bleed damage. Since the, uh, since the patch, if this out does vulnerability, I'm kind of curious now. I'm kind of curious now. Where are all the enemies when you need them? Damn! Challenge me! I have hit level 71. Noise. Aha! Oh god, these enemies. You know what? Screw it. I'm gonna skip right over them. I hate these green things so much. So that's another part of the game they need to address. They are the most boring, uninteresting enemies to face off against. They're just not fun. A lot of the community agrees. And I just do everything in my power to avoid them. For the most part, they're just so annoying. Damn it, see what I mean? <laughs> but you know, this game is stunning. Like, it's beautiful. That's the one thing about it. Like, ooh, we got some snow. I just love the look of this game. And I'm gonna stick with it. I'm gonna power through all the changes. See where it goes. Try. Kind of curious. This feels weaker than vulnerable or better. We're in town. Okay. Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Y'all doing good? I don't know why I'm using like a Western style voice. That's just what happens to me when I go into town. Time to die. Ooh, that does do quite a bit of damage. Oh, I don't know. Ooh, now I'm kind of curious about bleed. Which means, if that's the case, he just absolutely spoke. If that is the case, that means that I need to rotate over the swords for my build. And this axe has become less of a priority. Oh my dear God. Shooting me, boy. All right. 
Oh, that was quite a bit of damage right there. Holy... Okay, let's try this event. And try to survive it. Let's see what happens. Wonder, I will help you hold your ground. I hear them. They are near. Show yourselves. Now, Bleed isn't particularly good against, um, Bell pins, I don't think. Well, we're doing some damage, quite a bit. Kind of. Get out of here! We're wiping them out. So curious, let's switch it over. Back over and see uh, the comparison, like a direct comparison on this one particular enemy type. Wait a second. Oh, this is doing way more damage, actually. So vulnerable still is my go-to. Oh yeah. Oh. Not as powerful. Don't get me wrong. Three passes, so much more better. So much better, I should say. Now we're finally getting into heavier damage numbers. Wiping them out. Yeah, I don't think you're going to be able to swing, boy. Trying to time that weird. Get Let's go! Holy crap, full monstrosity over here. No, they're dying! Oh, I'm frozen. I should have kept my CC breaker active. Of course, it's at the ready! Oh, there it is! I'm trying, you fool. Protect yourself. If you not learn karate or something. Damn, I wish I would activate that earlier. Dude, it literally looks like he has his back to him. Die! 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 We did it! Barely had a sliver of health there. Alright, so I'm gonna pick this stuff up. All of it is crap. This is another issue. You shouldn't be seeing so many sacreds. You should be seeing more ancestrals. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned for more. We'll see where this franchise goes, where Diablo 4 takes us in the future, and how many of you actually stick around playing it in the long term. Thanks for watching, and I will see you all next time. Take care.